Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs and we are live. Yes. Let me just pull it up on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and pull the chat open. There we go. My volume down. Got it. Hello, hello, Tanya. How you doing, my love? Let me see. I'm just going to give people a few minutes to join us. I have a few shares for today, and we're also going to be working on a mixed media project. Hello, hello, Ada. Hello, Sasso. I'm a cutting board over here. Let me move that out of the way. Otherwise, I'm going to be bumping into that thing all night. <laughs> yes. So, you guys, to start off with, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a haul share. Nothing too, too major, but a haul share, none indeed. The first thing that I'm going to share with you guys is this little package right here. That's the wrong thing. Is this little package right here? Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited for this package right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. The long awaited. <clears throat> so you guys, I got this right here. And I'm going to be doing a review on this product in one of my upcoming uh, Tuesday videos. So stay tuned for that. But I got this drawing tablet right here. It's a Parblo. And I got this from Amazon. And oh my goodness, you guys. I'll do more of an unboxing video for this. I'm not going to completely take it out because we're not going to be using this today. But I just wanted to show you guys because I'm so excited. If you want to find out more about this tablet that I'm sharing with you guys in this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a whole review on this and how I apply this kind of tool to my art making. So... <laughs> It's so sleek, it's so nice, it's got buttons I can push, yeah, yeah, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, here's the pen, it's got a nib, it's got nibs in it and everything, it's got like the whole shebang, it's super, super cute, and I go into what these little compartments are and what they're good for and so on and so forth because I'm familiar with these types of tools, I've had them for many, many years all different types of brands and styles. We have the USB cord, we have some instructions. So let me put this back inside. Let me put it back in this little foam bag. I'm not gonna worry too much about the plastic. I'll fix that part of it later. But we don't want this baby to get scratched up. <laughs> so we have this right here and it also came with, let's See, let me just put this in here. This really, really cute little like satchel bag, I guess, for me to be able to store it inside once I take it out of the box. Isn't that super cute? And it's like a wool or felt, not wool, felt. <laughs> oh, look, it's got the top of it, but oh, okay. Wait, no, this is supposed to secure its tablet. Okay, so you put your tablet, you obviously use this to cover the top. You can even put your laptop in here. It's pretty wide. It's very nice and cushioned, um, and it feels really, really well made. I'm very impressed, actually. And, oh, here are some little pockets, I guess, so you can hide your little nibs and stuff like that. And also, hi, Tiffany. Welcome, welcome. And they also provided you with a glove. And I guess this is just so that you can kind of glide over the surface a lot easier. Um, since you're gonna be 
you know, resting on it so much so you don't get your palm sweaty and kind of like splotch up the whole area where you're supposed to be drawing from. But I'm super excited about this tool. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a review on it. And I'm going to be doing a screen share of the program and just, you know, kind of going over some of the features and some of the things that you can do with this kind of tool and how you can apply it to your everyday art and mixed media, so on and so forth. So super excited. Stay tuned for that. Awesome haul share number two. Hello, hello, Monica. Comes from none other than Tiffany Solario. She recently had a D-stash, and obviously I checked it out. And so she had amazing prices, you guys. She has so many different lots, like so, so many. So I'm here to share with you guys today what I purchased from her amazing D-stash. And like I said, super reasonable the price is like, I was like, yes, I cannot pass this up. So let me see. Let me go ahead and take this out and yes you guys i did kind of open it because oh my god my mouth just kind of like hit the floor when i saw this and then she was like and I, it has like over 50 sheets i was like i need all 50 so um basically this is the french riviera collection and this is the definition of collection okay um it is super gorgeous and it's also kind of sea themed which you guys i love 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 and um i'm not gonna do too much of a flip through but i'm just gonna kind of show you real quick it's got beautiful patterns and you're gonna see them in more high definition now when i show you the next uh set of papers and here we have some chipboards i mean there's all different kinds of chipboards in here they're really thick they're really nice and vintage -y. I absolutely love it. Again, with a mixed feel, kind of vintage kind of sea theme -ish, You know, you guys know I go bananas for some sea theme, right? <laughs> oh, you're driving. Be safe, my friend, okay? You still have more? Oh, my goodness. Well, I would have kept some myself, let me tell you, because I would have had a really, really hard time giving away. Now, basically, I mean, all the collections that you gave away that day, oh, my God. Um, and these are the note cards, four by six. And we have all different kinds of patterns in here. Super, super cute. You can cut them apart. I mean, you can take different elements of them. You can use them in so many different ways. And then we also have the six by six. Okay. And again, I'm not going to go too much with this because basically I have them all here. I have them all here. All here. And also the little journaling cards. My God, you guys are going to see so many sea theme projects. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't make y'all seasick. Because <laughs> there's going to be quite a few of them. Yes, there is. Okay, so I put them all in 12 by 12 protectors because, you know, I this is like a hoarding kind of. This is the, the type of paper that you want to hoard. So I protected them off the gate. I was like, no, baby, you're coming into this plastic real quick. Um, so here we have some cut aparts super super cute and I'm, i do apologize for the glare because i did put it in the plastic hopefully it's not too bad that you guys can't see it and then here we have this really like vintage romantic kind of village with this kind of ombre looking sky super super pretty this one has like uh white fonts all over it and again this is all part of the same collection which is the french riviera collection by prima um and then here's the front of it oh my god you guys <sighs> I did so much like sea themed paper shopping recently. <laughs> um, this is the next one. Isn't that gorgeous? Like when you think of French Riviera, at least for me, I didn't think of like sea themed. I would have never thought of that. Hello, hello, Liz. How are you, love? I would have never thought of that. But um, and then this is the other side full of anchors. And I love the color tones. Because again, they're kind of vintagey, kind of muted. You could totally brighten them up. You can add more to them. Um, you can totally change that up and make that super, super amazing even more. This one has all different kinds of like vintagey looking images on it. Again, all sea themed, sea bearing type of uh, feel. Beautiful wood grain colors and design. Absolutely gorgeous. And so many cut aparts, I love that. And there's so many of them, you guys. There's so many of them, like, oh my goodness. Um, and I love the fact that I can, I don't have to feel guilty about choosing a side. I have enough cut aparts that I can 
sacrifice a few and use the other side too. So this is amazing. Yes, I have. I have. And when I went back to the one store that I did see it, because she had it at like an amazing price, they didn't have any more. But I'm hoping that she puts them back in stock. If I do get them, I don't know if you have it or not, but if I do get them, I'm going to put a post on my uh, Facebook so that you guys can check it out where I get them from. Liz actually knows the store. It's the Rusty Attic. I'm not Rusty Attic, right? Is that what it's called, Rusty Attic? Can you confirm that for me, Liz? She has amazing, amazing deals, this lady. Oh, my goodness, you guys. You got to check it out. And this beautiful paper as well. Again, vintage feel. Love the colors. Love the patterns. And then here we have, like, all of this male traveling. Yes, her prices are amazing, you guys. And she has such an amazing array of just all sorts of stuff from all different kinds of mixed media stamps to stencils to everything. She's got a whole lineup of Stamparia products. Like she's got a lot of different things, you guys. Um, so this one has like a whole bunch of vintage images as well. I love this piece right here. So you will be seeing that coming up shortly. And then it's got this beautiful boat. I might pair those up together, who knows? This will be a beautiful cluster all in its own. Like this paper is amazing. Oh my God, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. So yes, you guys, this is what I got from Tiffany. Be on the lookout for her. If you haven't subscribed to her, please do so. Also be on the lookout for the hop that's going to be happening on March 21st and March 28th. It's going to be amazing as well. I'm going to make a video for that. Um, I just have to gather everybody's links that's going to be a part of both days so that I can also kind of put that in there. So when you guys go, you just subscribe to everybody and just be there. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. And I do have a Hobby Lobby haul, but I'm not going to share that today, you guys. The last thing I'm going to share today is only because I'm going to use it. And I'm so excited for this as well. <laughs> Look what I got. I got the Anna, Gri Anna Griffin Impress because my other machine had a little accident and it kind of fell on the side and went boom. And that's it for that one. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. Awesome sauce. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. That'll make my life so much easier. So I am going to be doing kind of like a little unboxing, you guys, for this amazing tool that I have been eyeballing for quite some time. And I was just waiting for my other one to go kaputsi so that I can go ahead and replace it. Because while I still had use for the other one, I didn't feel the need to go ahead and buy this. And I'm like, I'll just keep cranking it for a little while longer. It's okay. But once you're gone, baby, I'm bringing the motor in. And that's exactly what I did. I brought the motor in. So this is like, oh, yes. It's one of those moments. I know Monica just had one of those moments. Didn't you just replace one of your machines as well? <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to keep doing what Anna Griffin said, which is rotate, rotate, rotate. And hopefully I'll get some longevity out of them. So we have some plates, you guys, some shims, some stuff. I'm also going to be reviewing this as far as, you know, every user has a different experience for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my full experience, especially after using it today, so on and so forth. Um, so let me just pull this off to the side and see if Sasson will help me to pull this baby out. Gentle on my baby, gentle on my baby, please. <laughs> I hope you hold the box. Thank you, babe. Yes, yeah, it's heavy, right? Like what, 14 pounds is what it's like? Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't need to burp the baby. You don't need to do none of that with the baby. You can just give me the baby. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is my first, first, first machine, you guys. This is my first machine. And like I said, the only reason that I pulled this out is because I do plan to use it. I do have a project already laid out and ready to go for us to start that hopefully will not take too much time to do. It's all right here in this little pile of stuff. <laughs> I did go ahead and get ahead of myself and I did stencil over the 
the um the tag today, but we're going to see. We're going to see you guys. So obviously it comes with your cord. It comes with a whole die set. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a butterfly, a little swirl thing there. It's got, uh, I don't know what it says there, but we'll figure it out if we cut it, but we're not going to cut this today, but absolutely gorgeous. We have our embossing mats and embossing folder. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, I'll go over a better review of this product on its own independent review day. So when I do my Tuesday reviews and stuff like that, we're going to see that there. The plates, the metal shim, magnetic shim, shimmy, shimmy. Yep, we got two of them, one magnetic and one metal shim. Wow, that does kind of hold together. And I got the new black mat because I guess they replaced this one with this newer version that doesn't um, warp as badly. So yay for that. <laughs> Oh, we're already getting a DIY tip. Yes. <laughs> and I haven't even started. So let's see, you guys. We're going to turn this baby on. And I got some chipboards and I got some dies. And I'm going to give you guys just a one sneak peek reveal of the product I'm going to, the stuff I'm going to be sharing with you guys tomorrow. And that's going to be hard for me because every time I turn around, I forget what I was doing. <laughs> so I might forget which way it was when I got there. <laughs> so we have a handle right here. Beautiful gold color. I have also the Anna Griffin um, Explore Air 2. So now she has a sister. She won't be alone. I got the matching twinsies. Yes. So we have the cord. Let's plug our cord in. I bet no more having to crank that handle, you guys. Oh my goodness. Especially on heavy crafting nights. Oh my God. When you just got to get that project done, you got to get that album finished. You got to get those pockets in. You're on deadline. You're on crunch time. And here you are <laughs> rowing the boat <laughs> for hours and hours and hours. So let's go ahead and plug this baby in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes. All right. So this is what it looks like in the front. It's got a huge, huge wide opening. Definitely reminds me of an easy bake with the shape. <laughs> and it's heavy, you guys. Oh, my God. It's like carrying two babies almost when they're really, really babies. So we have our plates. I'm going to go ahead and unpackage my plates because we're going to be needing these, I believe. I know I'm gonna need this one, right? We're gonna need well, we're gonna need them all. From what I've seen, we're gonna need all of them. And I bypassed the instructions, so hopefully I saw enough videos <laughs> where I remember how they did it. <laughs> wow. Just like this, right? Yeah, just like this. The metal goes behind the magnets. Oh, you guys know I'm going to be having some fun, 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 fun. Because sometimes I don't even want to do it, especially if it's like a layered project because of all the cranking that you have to do. I don't mind playing with paint all day. I can pass that brush back and forth all day and I don't feel it. But when it comes to this, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I will go crazy. All right. So we got all that. I don't think I'm going to be doing any embossing, but we'll keep that there on the side in case we need it. Um, let me put that back into, into the box. So we have our plates, you guys, we have our plates and which apple or oh, a, a plate <laughs> apple. <laughs> All right. So we have our magnet sheets, our thing. Let's get some cutting dies. Where did I get them? Oh, here we go. All right, you guys. So 
I purchased through um, one, one Life's Creation, I think is the name of the store. I purchased this Stamperia SeaWorld Mechanicals. <gasps> yes, that's why when Tiffany said that, I was like, what, what are you reading my mind, girl? Because um, I bought this paper and I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And out of this paper, like I said, I'm gonna do the full review for it tomorrow. I cut out this image. And it's absolutely gorgeous and it's totally sea themed and oh my God, yes. And the adventure begins. So basically I'm gonna cut out, just to kind of complete the, um, the tag itself, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this tree because it reminds me of coral or I think I can use it to pass as coral. So I'm gonna try to pass this as coral. So I'm gonna use this die right here. This is from, oh my goodness, Darius. Darius, yeah, that, that's it. So that's where this is from. So we're gonna be using this. And obviously we have this whole kind of gearish, steampunkish kind of situation happening. We have some gears in the background. So to kind of tie it all together, I've gone ahead and pulled out some of my own that we're going to be using. And again, this is not like a demo, so I'm not gonna be doing like different papers. I'm going straight for the good stuff. We're cutting chipboard. <laughs> we're doing some chipboard today. I love that paper. Oh my God, I gotta get it in a bigger size. I thought I was getting the 12 by 12, but I guess I was getting the eight by eight, but it's okay. I gotta go back in and get the other one. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna use mainly my gears um, to kind of add you know, little bits here and there. And then I'm thinking that I'm kind of torn between these two mermaids. This one and this one. I like them both, honestly. Um, and I can put her somewhere around there. And I think that she will look perfect. I can also put her. <laughs> and I think that she will also kind of fit in. But I really like, I'm kind of torn, you guys. Which one do you think? Option number one, the bigger one? Or option number two, the smaller one? So Daisy. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? One or two? I'm so torn. So anyways, that's basically what we're gonna do. So we're gonna cut it out. Maybe I'll just cut them both out and we'll see how it all kind of goes. So let's go ahead and get this party started. And again, I'm going for chipboard because that's basically what I'd rather have is just a, a sturdier kind of piece to work with because I do like to work with a lot of wet uh, mediums and stuff like that. So I got some chipboard uh, little leftovers there. I went and gathered some. So let's go ahead and do this. And we're gonna try to fill this up as much as possible. And I'm gonna try to remember to rotate my plates in the process. The smaller one. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, you put the edge up. So with this um, thing, you gotta put the edge up because if you put the edge down, you're gonna cut into the magnetic mat. So let's just go ahead and see. What you want? I want the gears. You want the gears? You can use the gears. <laughs> I'm okay with you using the gears. <laughs> You're gonna make a, a, a steampunk vintage project. You need it. He needs it. All right, so let's go ahead and put that over that. Print. Okay, and cut. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just kind of. This doesn't do anything, but <laughs> I thought it was gonna center, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole waste of a few seconds there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this machine, you guys. I'm gonna make it go straight. You can turn it on. And this is chipboard 0. 0.22 thickness. I get this by the box. Oh my goodness, is this really the one pass wonder? Oh, I think so. Is it, is it, is it, is it? Well, there goes the first time, but at least it's gears. That means something's working. <laughs> so we got that going. Ah, oh, beautiful, like butter. And did you guys hear it? I didn't hear it. I can literally use this in the middle of the night and Sasson wouldn't even notice. No, yes, he would. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He would not notice. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this out. We're going to do a few more of this, maybe one more set of this. I'm just going to take off all the little bits that I can. This one I got to 
Wow, this thing is really on there. Okay, you guys, this really holds um, that cutting die down. It does a really good job of holding it in place. Okay, so I just need to be able to poke this baby out of here. And I have a poke too, but I don't know where I put it. Come on, I just need you to come out. It's just cleaning it. I don't want to clean it. I want you to pop out. I need a needle. <laughs> Let's see, maybe with this, maybe with the point of the scissor. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, it's going to clean itself once I take it out. Okay, so only one clock. I don't need more than that, I don't think. One clock is good. But the other um, gears and stuff, I'll take more of. Um, at least one more. One more round of gears. And I really like this chipboard that I use because it's really thick. There we go. You gotta kind of slide it off. There we go. That should be good enough. And let's go ahead and rotate one way or the other. Okay. No, wait, paper move over, paper move over. Okay, so, and let's hit run. You better run, 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 run. Thank you, thank you very much and kindly. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right, so we got, that's enough for the gears, I think. I'm, I don't want to overwhelm the whole piece of gears. That's enough. That's enough of that. And again, this is pretty thick that once I just sew them and stuff and do whatever I'm going to do to them, they'll hold up really nicely. Um, so let's get these off. And as you guys can see, one pass one there on chipboard. Uh, amazing. I went straight for the good stuff. If you want some, you, you can cut out some later. Why does it have to be specific? <laughs> Why does it got to be specifically this? All right, so let's go ahead and put our mermaid down. Let's see how we do it. The point is to not to use up as much of the stuff as possible. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of rotating this thing. My magnetic mat has slid it off of my magnetic mat. <laughs> All right, so we got this. Let's go ahead and just kind of cut this down a little bit. And then we're going to start assembling, you guys. Yes. We'll see what other goodies we have here. Was my plate. And slide this baby off. And I don't know if this is the way to do it, but this is how we're going to go. <laughs> she said, what? There's no two <laughs> I know, right? All right. So how did it do on the mermaid? Um, this The mermaid is really detailed. So I think we're going to need another pass on the mermaid. So let's just pass it again just to be safe. Oh, I turned it off. Hello, Carmen, don't turn it off. <laughs> and then run. Oh my God, this is so much fun, you guys. I can literally like work, use the machine while I'm working with you guys because it's not like overly noisy. And it does the job really lickety split. It does it really, really fast. So let's see, a lot of static, a lot of static. Did my die move on here? Okay, well, my die did move. Well, for this one. So I might have to cut her out again. So let's see. Whoa. This, you got to have strength to pull this off. Let's see. This would probably emboss beautifully. I mean, it comes out like butter. That's her face. And if you want to take all those little bits out, you can. But usually I like to leave those little bits in, especially on a mermaid's tail. Because I just think it adds more texture and it looks a lot prettier. Even though 
I can very well see that they'll all come flying out. So I'm gonna have to be really, really careful with this until I blew it all down and painted it all up. Um, and as far as my little friends over here, she didn't cut out too well. So she double, she double cut. So let me see if I can just pass her through again. And I'm gonna flip the plates in the other direction. I can see I'm gonna warp these plates really, really fast. I keep turning it off, thinking that it's the run button. If anybody has this machine, does that happen to you? <laughs> yes. Like butter. You do kind of smell the wires or something though. I'm not gonna lie. You do kind of smell it on. Okay, come out, come out. I need you to release from this mold. Let's see. There we go. Give me the little bit of the tail too. Don't keep it, it's not yours. Okay, I got it. All right, you guys. And then all we have left to do is the tree, and then I promise that's it. We're gonna do some art. And we're gonna do some art, you guys. Because I am excited and anxious to get that part going as well. So basically, like I said, because this reminds me kind of like a, of coral, um, I think it'll make a nice, um, I don't need the whole tree. I just really just part of it because I'm going to be cutting this up into different little bits and um, adding them in there. There is an neighborhood. Whoops, a daisy. Here we go. Okay, let's get this paper out of there. Beautiful cut each and every time. Well, almost every time. And then you also have a little bit of a stencil, so I might use this for kind of like a little stencil there. I think that that'll look super cool if I just kind of do that in the background a little bit. So I'm gonna definitely save that. And I'm gonna do one more. Again, it doesn't have to catch the whole tree. As long as you get a nice little section of it. And let's go ahead and do this side. I almost, I gotta remind myself not to press that power button all the time. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be the tricky one for me. Cause I automatically think the middle, the middle pit run is in the middle, but it's not in the middle. All right, so here we go. Oh look, we got like little pieces of jagged bits and pieces that look like leaves and stuff. We might be able to get other uses for this as well. See? And here we go. And I think that that is that for that. And with that being said, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't fester over you right now. I have to, I have to let this go and keep this show moving on. All right, so we have that. I got all my stuff. I'm gonna put all my stuff over there. And then we're gonna start working on assembling, organizing, rearranging, all of the good stuff that we're gonna be doing. And I did both of them because we're gonna figure out which one of the two. Now I can hit the power. Thank you. <laughs> and get this disconnected. Let's put that in there. Oh my God, thank God it has a handle. <laughs> let's put this right here. And let's put this over there. Or final assortment at a later time. 
Okay, let's move all the stuff out of here, right? Put that in the box. Hello. And let's see what we have. And I do apologize for the glare of the bulb. Um, reconfiguring my thought process when it comes to this situation with the lights. So bear with me, bear with me. Hopefully I'll cover enough of the surface that you won't see too much of that glare. Hello, hello, Davida. How are you, love? I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Look how everything comes out like butter. I am in love with this machine, you guys. Oh my goodness. I am, I am, I am. Sometimes I like keeping the little circles. They look like little bubbles, especially for something sea themed. You can totally use that. And let's just clean this next one. And I have the little wire bristle thing. I just, mm -mm. sometimes I poke myself with that thing. That's not fun. So <laughs> we're going to keep that going. We have our tree. Um, I have one clock here. And I'm going to try to breeze through this. It come out super easy. As you guys see, I don't really have to do too much effort. And it all comes out. And this is the Anna Griffin uh, Impress. I think it came out last year or the year before that. I'm not sure. I know it's not uh, too old. And model. Okay, let's see. I need something to poke these little teeny tiny ones right here. So super easy again. If everything pops right out. There we go. I should have had this one ready, but I couldn't because obviously I had to do the machine. So hello, Carmen. <laughs> there goes your own answer. Okay, so here we go. I got the little clock ready, which I think that was the last little one that had anything that I had to peel off. So we've got all of this. I kind of like these little weird shapes. So maybe I'll keep the two or the three that came out. I'll try these three right here. Everything else got garbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, everything else got garbage. So let's just. Kind of scoot that on over, scoot that on over, you guys. They believe you ain't see it. They believe you ain't see it. All right, so we got that. I got the little stencil that I might be using for some of this. I got my other little tree that we're gonna cut. Up, we're gonna cut apart and cut into. And we have our two mermaids. We're gonna see who exactly we're gonna cast into the role. We have our image, which I am going to be adding some. Here it is triple thick, um, basically it's a glossy glaze. And I'm gonna go over this image with that probably after everything is done, um, said and done so that I can allow it to set overnight. And that's gonna basically encapsulate all of this. It's gonna look amazingly beautiful. So if you follow me on my uh, social media, then you'll see it there. So we have some junk jewelry. Well, maybe not so much junk jewelry, but we have some metal pieces, a couple different things. Um, this is kind of what started the whole vibe today was these little glass beads, um, or pebbles or whatever they are. I think you put them in like fish tanks and stuff like that, or you can put them in like vases for decoration. Um, so this is kind of like what started the whole sea themed kind of mode. Um, so then I just went in and I just pulled a few little pieces of every whole bunch of just metals, just a little things. Um, this is just smaller little bits and pieces of metal. And I found a wooden fish, so I might add it. <laughs> Why not? It was lonely in the bag. So let me just go ahead and put that in. They're right there. So just kind of the little things that I was playing with as far as that. Um, we've got some mediums here, and we've got Deco Art uh, uh, Galaxy Glitter and Aqua Meteor. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so just some possibilities for some things that I might be adding here. This is Galaxy Glitter as well, and this one is Clear Ice Comet. We have some mediums, like heavy gel paste, dimensional paste, which I already used to do some stenciling. I got some chalky finish, uh, home decor, 
by Deco Art Everlasting, which is white. We also have some inks here. I have some PH Martins in bronze as well as in deep blue. So we have a few little things here and there. And we have uh, just kind of looks like bubbles to me. So we'll see if I add that in there or not. It all depends kind of like where the whole flavor, you know, goes. Where does this travel? All right. So we have that. And last but not least, we have our surface. Mm. We have our surface and basically we have all of our little trees and all of our little pieces. We have our gears. So we are about to make a wonderful, wonderful escapade, you guys. Um, I do also have these. I think these are Dollar Tree stickers. I'm not sure. I, I took the top off. So most likely they are. They look like them. This was the metal plate that was on top of this wooden tag, which I took off. It was like that, obviously, and all solid. And I popped those suckers out. It was just basically held down with these little pins. So... It was quite all right. And then I proceeded to do some stenciling over this. The stencil that I use is a Deco Art stencil. And it is this humongous behemoth, Mama Jamma, right here. I think this thing is like 18 by 18. I don't even know. It's humongous. And so now we kind of have to figure out how we're going to do this whole layout and exactly what it is that we're going to be choosing to put this whole thing together. So I have here some of the remnants of the paper. Let me just put all the stuff that I don't need to the side so that I actually have room to work. Remove this clutter here. Let me brush this clutter off to the side a little bit. Okay, so we have our stickers, we have all of our stuff. So I think I'm going to rip off some of this, but I think before I even get started, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of some of this white uh, everlasting paint. I'm going to add some gesso and add a little bit of that, and I'm going to brush that kind of all over the place just to kind of break down a little bit of this brown color that I have going on. And so let me go ahead and add some of this gesso. This is my DIY gesso, you guys. And just kind of brush over just a little bit here and there, here and there. And um, I did the stenciling with Deco Arts uh, modeling paste, just regular modeling paste, okay? There's nothing fancy about that paste. It's just regular paste. I said I didn't want to put a lot, you guys, and look. But we're going to see if we can wipe some of this down. Let's we'll see where this whole thing goes. You know how it goes, you guys. Once you guys give me that brush, you put that brush in my hands, it's over. It is over. So let's see. Let me try to wipe a little bit of this off, just a little bit. See if any of it will come off. No, it won't. It will not. It will not budge, it said. Let me go ahead and just add a little bit of white in there. You can really see the texture of that glue. Let's go ahead and just kind of dry that up a little bit. And let's go, you guys. Let's keep it moving. 
And let's drive this baby up. Bate que bate el chocolate. Bate que bate el chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> We're going to drive this whole thing up. Well, shouldn't take too long, you guys. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Thank you, thank you, my friends. Thank you, thank you. Right? It's beautiful. It's humongous. And I've been so tempted to cut into it a few times and just make it smaller so I could use it, you know, easier on other surfaces. But, oh, my God, I can't do it. I can't do it. I really can't do it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get this a little bit dry. And then we're going to try to figure out what we're going to do with this. I liked it for this kind of theme because I, it felt like water, like waves. So I was like, it looks like water splashing out, like somebody's coming out, obviously, from the center. But, you know, obviously, it's the compass. <laughs> it's not necessarily the boat or anything, you know? It's just the compass. She's trying to find her way back. Oh, let me find my way back. So let's see. That should be good. That should be good for now. For now. All right. So we have that going on right there. And I think we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of colors to this. So the colors that are in here, um, let's see. If I like the colors that are in here because there's a little bit of greens in here, which I kind of like. The, you guys know I love me some green, right? So let's see. Let's see what I find in here. I did pull out some of these colors here, but I think those are going to be more like accent colors. So let me see if I do find something that resembles this tone. Let's see. Okay, I have Fortune <laughs> in green. Love that color. Um, let's see. And... Maybe some blues. Maybe this blue. Will that go well together? Maybe. Maybe. That might. I always make blues and greens work together. So let's see. So let's put this stuff to the side. We're going to go ahead and just sew all of these pieces, but I want to at least get some of the paint on here so that I kind of know where to bring my accents so that I know how to bring them out and make them brighter. So let me just go ahead and put this to the side for now, and let's focus on this right here. Again, this is a beautiful image. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got beautiful colors. It's got like copper tones in it. And I do have um, some copper paint. Well, no, this is bronze. I do have copper paint somewhere. So I'm gonna, this is actually Royal Ruby, but it looks like copper. So we're gonna use this one. This is my copper today, you guys, okay? So. If you have copper, use copper. <laughs> let's see. All right. So let's go ahead and start adding a little bit of color at a time. I still have my brocha right here. So we're just going to add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I just want a little bit, you guys, just a little bit. A little bit of color here. A little bit right here. And let's just kind of... Um, And I'm kind of flicking it on there, being very uh, rough with it, if you will. Just kind of flicking that color on. Like, I don't care where it lands. The way you're still going to come out amazing. Right? Super cute, right? Love it. OK, let me just heat it real quick. This is the part that I just like about doing live, honestly. It's this part here, having to air dry all the time. But you got to do it a little bit every now and then, you guys, just to kind of like not blend it too much. I just feel like that adds so much time to a video. All right, so now let's go ahead and add a little bit of this green. Let's add some fortune to this piece right here. And this color was um, 
Islands Blue. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So let's see. A little bit of green. A little bit of green right there. A little bit of green right there. And this is chalky finish, you guys. So this is more matte. And I'm not so much worried about this centerpiece right here because this is going to kind of go in there. It's got a little bit more blue in there. Then I'm going to add a little bit of copper. And if I feel like I need more white, I'll just add more white back into it. And I do kind of want to darken some of these edges up so that I kind of frame it out a little bit. I don't want to lose all of the, um, the wood on there. So let's go ahead and add now this Royal Ruby. And I have some inks here that I'm going to incorporate into this, which is the bronze and this blue, which is a darker um, tone. This is the deep blue. So I'm going to add a little bit of that ink here and there and see how it all kind of comes out. Hopefully you guys can see well how everything is showing itself. And then we still have to kind of, um, well, maybe this is enough. I think I was saying something and I forgot what I was saying. I went in trance mode. I was like, ah, sorry, you guys. If I left you guys like mid thought. <laughs> you guys know how it is, right? Once you start painting or doing something that you really enjoy to do, like you just lose all track of everything, right? That's pretty much. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you too, Ada. That's too kind. I'm going to go ahead and try to dry this up a little bit so that I can try to start adding some of those other little inks in there. And let's just see what kind of effect we get. Let's see what happens. I love experimenting. I experiment with my colors. I experiment with my style. I experiment with everything, basically. And sometimes you get some amazing results. Like, hopefully this is one of those. So let's see what happens. Right now it looks like army fatigue, <laughs> but I guarantee you that is not, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and try. I'm going to put some of this ink under here. I want to see if I can catch some of these little like ridges and stuff. And then I'm going to add some white to kind of accent here and there wherever I want some things to separate. Um, let me go ahead and just kind of do that. Do that like that, right? And let me add a little drop. <laughs> Cross your fingers, you guys. A little drop, right? Just a little drop. Let's see. Well, I got it. You see? A little drop. See? Thank you, God. You're listening. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead. This got really, really um, muddy real fast. So let's go ahead and add some more. Add some more blue. And this is like an iridescent kind of blue. Let me just dip the whole blank brush in there. Yeah, there we go. Then this is supposed to be like an iridescent. If I didn't say that already, <laughs> I might have said that already. All right, so let's go ahead and see. I add two more drops to that. That's what you call wrist control, you guys. You saw that? Steady hand. All right, so. Let's go ahead and see. Let me see. I think I want to do it from the bottom. Up. Let's see what happens. Yeah, 
You guys know I love my drips, right? And the ridges pick up nicely. So let's blow this out a little bit and just see what happens. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. Let's see. This is my heat tool. I want to burst all these little bubble heads right here. Just make sure that the keeps just flowing. Don't leave it all cut up there. Let it just kind of drip out so it can't drip out anymore. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the gold. And I might go back into it and even add a little bit more. Um, Hold on, real quick. I think I do want to add maybe a little bit of this black. This is just like a spray. Let's see, one of those DIY sprays. I think I just want to add a little bit right on the bottom because I'm gonna. I'm about to add some of that gold. That I call it gold, but it's really bronze, you guys. But I call it gold. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and add some water to this, you guys. Well, at first, let me clean this hot little mess up right here so that I don't cross contaminate my colors too, too much. And let's go ahead and add some water in here. I'm gonna get another brush, you guys, because that one muddy. Oh, beautiful flow, beautiful, beautiful flow. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful flow. And let's go ahead and add some more of this here in the bottom. And just kind of let it all flow and go. This is so relaxing, you guys. Honestly, this is like so, so relaxing. Sometimes you could just do this for hours. I don't even notice that time has gone by. And I'm hoping that between all these layers that I'm adding that way of these inks, I'm gonna go ahead and add more blue that I get a nice kind of like, um, kind of like a little bit of a blended effect, if you will. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but once I'm kind of happy with how this side is turning out, Yes, you get it, you get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep adding more of these golds so that it kind of filters itself all the way around and kind of gold all the way across. And again, it's bronze, you guys. I'm not keep calling it gold. I just keep forgetting. So I'm gonna try to add more and more and see if it'll how much of this um how much of the grooves I can actually fill in with like this watercolor metallic effect. So we'll see. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna add more blue, I think. Let me shake this a little bit. Thank you, Cecil. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and wipe this baby down and go back into it with the blue. But I'm gonna use my brush, you guys, because I need an amount that's gonna be enough to kind of travel this, I noticed. So I'm gonna put quite a bit. And I could have used acrylic paint to achieve the same thing, but I wanted to use my ink because I like to experiment. So let's see, let's move this one down. That's my bronze brush. <laughs> You like that, right? BB, bronze brush. All right, so let's go ahead and mix this up real quick. Push that right back into that ink. And the pH mark in ink sometimes can be a little bit thick because as they go, as you go using the liquid part and all of that amazing iridescence is left behind um, and you start adding water and stuff like that, it gets really, really thick sometimes. So 
So you can control how much or how little, how thick or how loose it is basically. And we're gonna keep kind of layering this, making sure that I have enough everywhere that I want it. See, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this black right in here. Again, to kind of push it out. Keep pushing this out. I don't know what I did with my little sprayer of water. Oh, I found it. See? Ah. That is good. You saw that, right? I didn't even know where that thing was. I haven't seen it for days. <laughs> it was like right there. I got you. I got you. Uh, so, let me just, I don't want to hit it on the glass, so I'm going to come off the side here and do this. And they're all kind of converging towards the center. I'm going to add a little bit more of the gold, and then I'm going to call it a wrap on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side so that they kind of come back and forth on each other like beans. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to do just one more layer of the gold, and then I'm going to start doing the same thing on this side. This side is still kind of a little bit wet. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the gold this time. And I have um that clear paper over my paper. So it's not gonna get messed up. I can just wipe it right off. In case somebody's like, oh my God, Carl, you're gonna mess up the table now. <laughs> precautions, precautions. Ooh, that was quite a little bubble burst. All right, so let's go ahead and add it maybe right here. Let's go straight into this baby. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna water it down. I'm gonna use it as it is in its luxuriousness. And since I didn't dry this paint all the way, it's gonna look so bold, so amazing. how bold that looks. I love it. I'm just going to let this kind of run down a little bit. I might spray it out maybe like around here. To kind of make it run this way. Ooh. I like that. Looks like far away places, even though you're not going to really be able to see that because it's going to be covered up. But now it's starting to travel just like I wanted. And it's just kind of converges there. I love how that kind of converges there. Let me get, where is it? It's right here. You guys don't 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 engage. You're giving them something to do. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and kind of move that in. Yes, love. That's what we're about. This is looking gorgeous. <laughs> Wait till you guys see. Look. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to just add a little bit of this gold around the edges, and then I'm going to call it a day on this part of it, because I want to get on to the next, the next stuff, which is adding all of the amazing yumminess. 
And we got to figure out exactly how we're going to do that. So I think I'm just going to add some of this gold up here. <laughs> Every time I say go, I remind myself like, no, it's bronze. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> and by the time I remember, I already done told you guys that it's the wrong color. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of pass this off all around the edges just to kind of complete the whole um, the whole edge of it, right? Might as well complete the whole frame. I like that. Let me just spray this down a little bit. Let that kind of travel as it wants to travel and do what it wants to do. Let's assist it, assist it by giving it a few taps on the side. Yes, you guys, whoop, whoop, look at this. Ah, yummy, 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 yumminess. Look at the colors. Look how they make. Oh, you like that, you like that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ada. I know, I'm so loving it. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. It doesn't even, it, it looks almost like an acrylic pour, like it's just like everywhere. <laughs> I'm very animated all the time. <laughs> Not just some of the time, but all of the time. <laughs> all right, you guys, so I think that's pretty, pretty good for this right here. I'll continue to let this kind of dry so that I can keep this show moving on the road, but I really do. <gasps> You guys, this is going to look amazing. Yes, yes, I think so. I think so. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> love it, love it. All right. Uh, we're going to be adding some stars to this too. So I'm probably going to be adding like little stars here and there. We're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to see what's going to happen. Let's just move this stuff to the side for right now. And let's work on some of these pieces. My desk is a hot mess. Yes, it is. Let me get my dirty little rag and add some alcohol to my dress right here, a little mat, and clean all this stuff up. That's all watercolor, you guys. That's for me cleaning watercolor. I clean this mat all day. <laughs> I'm always wiping it off. I'm like, no, it's supposed to look pretty and clean. Like, you gotta wipe it. You gotta wipe it. And then as soon as it's clean, I love making a mess on it. Oh my God. Okay, so, okay, little dots, let's get it, let's get it right. All right, so we got that going. Thank you, thank you. Now I can go ahead and just over my surface freely. <laughs> so we've got some pieces here. Let's go ahead and try to figure this out, how we're going to start to do this. Um, the mermaid, which one are we going for, you guys? Do we know? Option number one, I think, was the big one. Option number two was this one. And this is the, the piece itself. So we can have her. She's kind of a little bit more on the frailer side. Or we can have, I guess, her on the opposite direction or this way. So one and two, you guys, which ones? You guys, you guys, one and two. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like this one because of the way that she's holding the seashell. It kind of makes me feel like she took it out of the inside of that. So I kind of like it. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's get these um, things jostled up. And I mean, I don't even, I don't even think I got to get most of these jostled up. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make rainbow. Um, let me move this over here. I'm gonna make like rainbow uh, coral. So let me get some colors. And I think that's where the glitter is gonna kind of come into play. I think that that kind of matches very nicely. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glitter these babies up. So we're gonna add some glitter to these corals. And color scheme wise, we're looking at yellows. Um, I definitely am gonna need some reds. 
and we're just gonna add a little bit of everything, right? To make it kind of colorful and add a little bit of that red in there because it does have a little, just a little tiny hint of red. Maybe it'll come out a little bit more as we go. And this is just some of the clear. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, start painting my little trees real quick. And the colors are gold shooting star. I'm just gonna place a little bit of that right there. The next one is aqua meteor. And these are all galaxy glitters. Super chunky. I'm gonna need more of that because I love me that color. <laughs> um, we're gonna also use red nebula, all in spacey themes. And then this one is clear ice comet. Let's add that right there. And let's get ourselves another brush. Okay. All right, so let's just gonna go ahead and just add some of this right in there. Again, it's coral. So we're gonna see how it all kind of goes. If I have to add heavier color, I will, which I might have to do that. Let me go ahead and grab some of this right here. This is Rouge, the chalky finish paint. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I think that's how I'm gonna play it off. So we're gonna see. So just gonna add a little bit of this color here and there. Not everywhere, because I don't need to cover up all of the brown color on there. Color, corals are colorful, so I don't need to cover the whole thing up. And between the different colors of the glitters, hopefully I'll get enough of a color uh, flowing through it that it's okay. All right, so let's do the next one. I like um, carefree type of crafting where you don't have to really worry too much about lines, dimensions, you know, uh, all of that stuff. You can just be kind of like free and doesn't have to be for any specific purpose just to just to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of this kind of all over the place. And let's go ahead and add some of this coral color here. And I'll get some more because it looks like I'm going to be needing quite a bit of this. <laughs> Let's see. And let me go back into this one. This one still needs. And yes, um, the red paint is still kind of wet in the bottom. But I'm kind of okay with that because it kind of thins it out to a certain extent and covers the rest of it with paint, if you will. So... I really like this um, blue one, so I want this one to have a lot of a lot of this blue. This doesn't even have any color right here. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some yellows here and there. We're gonna need more of that yellow. I think this is gonna look amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna have to dry them. And I don't know how long that's gonna be, so we'll go figure it out. But I do love how this is kind of all looking. I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can see it all, all this glitter yumminess. This is the yumminess in a bottle, you guys. <laughs> mm, this is so amazing. This looks so, 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 so amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Hopefully, hopefully. I got all my brushes are dirty. This is why I go through so many brushes. I love this. I love this, love this, love this. And then when I cut them all up, it's gonna look amazing. You wanna go drying that for me? Oh. With the heat tool? <clears throat> Thank you. Very much. This? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Everybody give a round of applause for Angie. You know who's helping me over here. <laughs> She's helping me over here with this.
Just getting a little bit of whatever is left here and adding it on this one. Picking everything up. Then with alcohol, I'll be able to clean all of this mess up. Oh my God, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Hello, hello, Julia. I don't know if you guys can see the colors on here. Does it look like coral? <laughs> I think I got it. Let's see. Move it away. Let's see. Yeah, this one's good enough. Do this one, baby. Thank you, baby. Okay, while my daughter is doing that, I will go ahead and clean this part of the mess up. And then we're going to go ahead and just do the rest of the stuff. So a little bit of alcohol is what you're going to need for the job. And it comes up like butter. All about on the brush, though. You have to figure that one out. Ooh. <laughs> This rag will be thrown out today. <laughs> it's enough for this. I think it's it's going out with some sparkles, so it's not going out too shabby, right? All right. So I tend to use those racks, so I can't use them no more because they're not disposable. So what's the point? We gotta keep using them. So we got the little one, right? So we gotta try them both. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this stuff a quick little coat, and I'm gonna do um the ruby on this one. Ruby and what else? Uh, do I have a darkest name maybe? I don't know about the teal. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay, so we got two little bushels of reeves, right? Little bushels of reeves. I don't even know that's the thing. <laughs> so we have little bushels of reeves right here. And maybe I'm going to cut them apart and just add them a certain kind of way. We'll see. All right, so let's put this back to the side because we don't need this right now. And let's go ahead and start doing some of these. Um, for this one, I do want to add some gesso on it. So let me just shake my little gesso. I add my little gesso here. And let me get another brush. <laughs> I love it. All right. So I'm just going to give her a quick little coat. My gesso is very translucent. This batch that I made is um, very translucent. because I wanted it to be more on the runny side. I didn't want this batch to be so thick, so. Oh, I lost one of the little bits. See, that's what happens. I might have to stick something there. We'll see, we'll see what happens. The other girl's already winning, because <laughs> she's whole. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, look at the little bit right there. She's the one that stole it. She's the one that took it. She took the little bit right there. Had it stuck in the back. Okay, so let's see. Let's just gesso her real quick and then dry her up. And then we're going to do both and see. And I'm going to do the royal blue for their tails with, um. we'll see with what. So let's, just, let's do that real quick. Give a little piece back. Can I put it in there? I don't <laughs> want to go with it. <laughs> Say, nope. Sorry. <laughs> I 
<laughs> so I might have to take the little bits out. Dang it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So let's continue to just so these babies. And again, you don't have to put a lot. It's just to give them a little coating. And because it's chipboard, it doesn't matter which side you do it on because you're going to be putting them all in. Now, if you emboss it, it's going to matter. But if you didn't emboss it, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't even know how long I've been live today. What time is 80 it? minutes. Oh, wow. 80 minutes, you guys. Oh, I guess I'm back to my old stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I went live like this, you guys. Very exciting to be back and creating with you all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul as well as today's project. Hope you found it insightful and inspirational. And I hope I got you in the mood to craft. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's see, let's see. I don't think I need two of these. I am gonna, this looks really funky to me and I like the funky shape of it, right? It looks kind of weird, like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I'm over here shaking my <laughs> head back and forth. That's why my daughter's laughing. I'm over here making all these gestures. Like, I don't know. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, and I think that's it, right? Yes, that'll be everything that's been just so and needs to be just so. We got it. We got it. Okay. Okay, so let's, I don't want the brush full of the just so because that's got glue and it'll turn into a spatula. Okay, so now we can go ahead and kind of dry these things out. Is it going to be done already? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Julia. Come on, come on, don't get stuck to each other. Why am I stretching all the way over there when I could just be doing it over here? See? Where are you going? <laughs> right there. Right there, right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back, you just came from there. All right, so we do this one, we do this one, we do this one. I think that's it because these are all kind of like blowing all over the place. Kind of group it together. So they kind of all. All right, so we got that going, we've got that going, we've got our thing going over here. Let's clean up this hot little mess. One more mess, one more time. Time to assemble, baby. <laughs> time to assemble. Alcohol, yes. My friend, the alcohol. Right here. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Here yeah, like this because it's been helping me clean up the glass and it makes it super easy. It, the alcohol makes it way easier to do it than with water. It comes right off for the most part. This is really good DIY just so. <laughs> that's why it don't come off so easy. At least that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so. All right, a little elbow grease, and we got the stain right off. Okay, so 
We've got that. We've got this. Let's see how we're going to go ahead and do this. Let me get my glue. Where is my glue? I literally put them both together so that I can use them. Here we go. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, snip some of these little things off. I didn't distress this or anything yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to just go ahead and distress this really quickly. If it'll allow me to release my distress tool, please. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I got it right here. Look at my hands. Don't you just love that part of it? So I'm just going to go ahead and just um, pass this through everything here and kind of cover up some of these white little edges. You can do a mark. You can run a marker through it if you want. However you want to do it, depending on how the stress you want it to look. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm like right around there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of this chipboard that I got here actually, and I'm gonna tear a few pieces. Okay, give this some height. Right? Mm -hmm. So, first layer. Second layer. Third layer. Last layer. One more layer. Now we're going to do this. So, let's see how we're going to fit this. And then we're going to start painting and decorating and seeing how everything kind of looks. <laughs> One, two, three, come Dracula. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, so we got that. A few little gears here, a few little gears there. Because at the end of the day, it's just, it's just added little touches, right? It's not going to actually hurt anything, I don't think. So, put some here. Some there. And then I'm thinking about how I want to do this. Maybe I want the reefs kind of coming out of there, maybe. What do you guys think? Instead of having the reefs in the bottom, I don't want to cover up all that gold yumminess. It's like outpouring gold. Like, what? I think that looks really nice. So I'm thinking maybe I can make it like that. Let's see. Kind of like that, right? What do you guys think? I like that. And then put some of these gears in there like that, I guess. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Something like that. Right? We have these little weird little bits and pieces. We can just kind of stick somewhere. <laughs> it's like the claw, the claw. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> All right, and then we have our pretty, pretty little mermaid girl, right? I gotta put something heavy though. So I think that's, I kind of like how that looks. So let me go ahead and take all these little gears out. And I said the gears, leave the tree in there. Oh my goodness, it's the struggle for real with these little bits and pieces. Okay, so give me the claw back. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> okay, so all right, let's just make sure that that's in there. You can hot glue this if you want to. I mean, if you do something somewhere, you can hot glue it. That's that'll work just fine. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just add hopefully someday today. I'm gonna add some glue on here and just kind of I'm not gonna put it all the way to that bits, you know, all the way to the ends because I want them to be able to kind of like have some movement. I want to be able to fluff them up a little bit, right? So, I'm just gonna. 
kind of put this in there like so. And then I'm gonna use this one. I love, 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 love the combination of those glitters on there. I cannot express that enough. Love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, and then we're gonna have something like this. I'm trying to make sure that that hole stays open in case I do wanna go ahead and add the string through it. I don't wanna mess up my hole. So I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue in there. Hopefully just a little bit. And this is the embellishment glue, you guys, that I've been using the Dollar Tree embellishment glue. I found someone that went to the Dollar Tree different um brands absolutely love it so let's see we got that all right so let's go ahead and work on these pieces right here and work on these um pieces right here <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this all right so i don't know about these hooks i don't know about the hookers now i made a joke of it so i don't take them serious anymore um so i don't know about using those hooks there so let's go ahead and work on this mermaid again maybe a little bit of this I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself another brush. <laughs> I think there's two more, one more left in the pack, you guys. One more left in the pack. Let's see if I can make it to all of them today. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit, a drop of water. Give me a drop of water, come on. One drop. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Kyla, thank you, Kyla. I'm gonna wet that brush up. Dip it into this amazing yumminess of ink. And I'm gonna go from her waist down. And I'm gonna be adding layers of color to this, obviously, to give her that magnificent look. But I don't wanna add her, I don't wanna give her too many layers. I still, you know, I don't want her to be like all over the place. She's not part of the background, she's supposed to be in the front. <laughs> so we, we don't wanna make it too, too crazy. But we do wanna add a little bit, a little bit. Let me dry it real quick. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit more. Just to kind of darken it up a little bit, right? Then we're gonna grab a little bit of this galaxy glitter and add that right over here. Such a big squeeze. Just roll all the mouse. So we're just gonna kind of add that in there. Give her that mermaid, mermaid shininess, mermaid glimmer. And I basically like to just kind of pick it up and then just move the glitter everywhere. I'll just kind of add that all in there. Here we go, clean that off. Okay, let's dry that real quick. Quick little heat blast. Okay, now I'm gonna go into with a little bit of the copper. I'm just gonna add little, like little patches, kind of like goldfish. I'm just kind of drop this on there. I kind of like that. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. My hand is like a filthy right now. Bye, Monica. Thanks so much for being here today. Have you, I hope you have an awesome rest of the weekend, my friends. And I hope you had an awesome birthday as well. Oh, I am, girl. I planned it. Thank you. <laughs> I am. I don't think I'm sleeping today. <laughs> I'm going to be like passing the That's all you're going to I'm going to sound like the lawnmower man in the middle of the night. <laughs> all right. So let's see. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> just a little drop of black because we gotta just kind of pick up a little bit. Just have a little bit of black in there too. Just kind of um, again I have the idea in my mind of a goldfish. So I'm kind of approaching this from like that perspective of speckling, you know, colors here and there, and um. Just kind of adding it in there, just giving it a little bit of contrast. Going in at these little tips right here, little ends of the tail, just to darken them up a little bit. Again, give them a little bit of contrast. When I take pictures of this, I'm going to try to take real close up pictures so you guys can see like all the details and how it kind of comes in. So you'll see that posted on my social media. Okay, so we got that. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to move on from that and I'm going to do her hair in gold. And we're just going to do that and just let it all kind of flow out. I'm gonna grab some of this black again and kind of just give it a little bit of um a little bit of texture there. And I like doing a lot of dry brushing when I paint. You guys will see me do that technique quite often. It's kind of dry brushing my colors on. But I like the brush strokes. I like the unevenness that it looks. The most effect, most of all, I love the effect. And I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it looks like she's got individual little strands of hair on her head. Absolutely love it. Now for her body, I'm gonna give her a quick wash of gold and then I'm gonna um, kind of like sprinkle some paint on her body. I think that's the way that I'm going to go. I'm going to give it a quiet, magnetic. Pencil with pencil, let down your hair so that I can climb the golden stair. Beautiful. Love it, love it. <clears throat> Thank you, Sasso. <laughs> <laughs> right? And like, it's okay. Like, I'm, I, I, it'll be all right. I can go ahead and just run the machine. He won't even notice, right? <laughs> He's like, I'll hear it. I'm going to hear it. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it now. Okay. So I went ahead and colored her um, little seashell kind of bronzy. And again, using the black as my front and kind of adding some of that texture in there just so that it kind of stands out a little bit. And it has a little bit of texture, even though you really can't see much of much, but something is better than nothing. Right? All about that texture. Just gonna add a little bit of this bronze in here as well. Kind of streaking it in there where it catches, it catches. I'm not too worried about specific little spots. Okay. And that is what she now looks like. I don't know if this will help you to see it better. From regular to extraordinary. Right? Amaze balls. So let's go ahead and do the rest. Now that we've got her. And this is the one that everybody's kind of gunning for, right? What do you guys think? You like it? Maybe I need to put something behind her so she stands out more. So maybe I'll look for some kind of a cut apart or something that I can add onto that um, and see what happens, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and try to paint these things in real quickly. Um, I'm going to go for some of this ruby because it reminds me of copper. And that's how we're gonna basically go about it. I'm gonna add a little bit of greens here and there, but I'm just gonna kind of dry brush this real quick.
And this is why sometimes I got like a muddy of colors because I don't always like to rinse my brush out. I sometimes prefer um, it to be kind of dry like that because I get a mixture of colors and if they're all dry, they don't really blend unless you add something watery to it, you know? Unless you would spray it with water or something. Sometimes you can still maintain uh, the solid colors there and just have like this nice effect of like colors, you know, streaking next to other colors. So I really like it. Okay. And again, I'm not painting this to perfection. I'm just getting color on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get some green, some of this green. I'm gonna mix this green with some of this blue. And we're gonna see what happens. Like I said, I like to experiment, right? So just gonna dry brush some of this all over the place. I'm a messy little Tessie when it comes to this paint stuff, you guys. You see this? That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let's try to dry this, and then we're going to spray it a little bit um, and just to add a little bit more color to it. But I'm just going to pull these out of the pits of paint, little pools of paint, and we're going to try to dry this up. And my hands are dirty. Sometimes I just don't want to clean my brushes. I'm not going to lie. It gives me a reason to buy new ones. Hello. <laughs> I realize I so love the brushes. Let's stop. We got to go. We got to go. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> But doctor can't operate without without his instruments. I cannot create my art without my brushes. I need it. Not some way, always. <laughs> that was in a movie I thought. <laughs> no, it wasn't kind of hard. That wasn't that long though. All right. So let's see. My hands are filthy, you guys are so filthy. Oh my God. My hands are got filthy, you guys are so got filthy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm going to attempt, attempt to like now freak myself out with all this paint on my hands. And I'm going to act like this not there. And I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit, but I'm not going to go too crazy because we're already at the end, basically. So I'll clean that after. My biggest concern right now is getting these things in there. Where's the... There we go. That I don't need that no more. Okay. Let me move myself over here. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you, Kylie. All right, let's get the glue. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, no, you don't need it. You just put it in water. <laughs> I'm like, I did that already. It's too stiff. <laughs> I got it. I got it. No, no, no. I need new ones. It's too hard. That glue all over them, like those patches. No. <laughs> what? The brush, it gets hard and it's like a little spatula. Okay, so let's see. And I'm going to actually put these things back in there, I think. Oh, yeah, why not? These are the brats that originally came with this thing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, so let's add the next one. Right? Right? I have a whole like bucket full, but I need more. Granted, they're all still. <laughs> one, day, one day I gotta make a project with them. That's why I haven't thrown them out. I'm like nostalgic with my brushes. I'm like, I remember the paint, the painting I did with you. Like, no, I can't sauce you just yet. 
And that poor thing is like, please throw me out. <laughs> like, I can't take no more of this. Please throw me out. You keep dunking me in water. You keep shaking me. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and put that in there. And I got to add a little bit more darkness to this or something to bring them kind of out. So we'll see what I do. Maybe with the ink, I'll just add a little bit more darkness in the back just so that these colors kind of pop out a little bit more. I could have added a little bit of depth to that. I don't show. And it's okay if it shows. It's yours anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> to save the brushes. I be trying. I do. Don't hold it against me. I do be trying. Which one? Which one? This one here. <laughs> I got little bits and pieces of stuff here, so I'm trying to see. <laughs> Let's see. All right. And let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's bring some of this up, up, up. Kind of, it kind of grew over the gears, right? We don't want just the gears over everything we want. Gears over, I mean, we want coral over the gears too. Okay, so let's see, just a few more pieces to go, I think, and then I'm gonna start adding some glitter here on the sides and some contrast, and we're gonna add our little friends right here. And I didn't really add too much dimension with the gears because the gears wasn't really my main focus of this piece, my main focus was this. And I am going to go into this and kind of just glue this down a little bit more so that it's more secure. I'm going to just put that one there. Oh, I got one more. Just put that there. And with me, it's not always so important for them to have a sentiment most of the time. I'm thinking I should add something there. Let me see. Let me see that paper. See if there's anything in that paper that I want to add. A little cut apart or something. Else. Which I don't know because the colors. This paper is beautiful. I'm kind of give, like giving you guys the rundown here about this card right here. The one with the star. I kind of like that one. What's behind it? Okay. So I'm going to with my hands. So I want that torn kind of texture on it. I'm just going to rip this down. And I've been in love, in love with this paper since I saw it. I really wish it was a bigger stack. Good night, Julia. Thank you so much for being here, love. Oh, thanks, sir. Let's see. I'm actually like, this is so pretty. This is so super pretty. So I think. What I'll do with her is I'll kind of stack this star, right? Will that even look? No, that won't look right. Not at all. Not at all, my friends. I ripped you for nothing. <laughs> Maybe the back of it. That's going to take away from my girl right here. Okay, I cut the square for nothing, okay, you guys? Erase that from your memories. That never <laughs> happened. <laughs> so let's see. So you're going to have to just go like that. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white something, something, just to kind of blend that out a little bit behind her. So she kind of stands out a little bit more. I'm just going to rub my finger 
throw it lightly. If I can get some paint. Thank you very much. It's like Uber paint. You got to call it for it to be delivered, right? <laughs> it's like, come out. Okay, I'm here. Okay, so let's see. Let's just... I just want to kind of, I don't want to make it too, too white back here. I just want to kind of make it a little bit misty, maybe. It's the look I'm going for, hopefully achieving. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. The star is like, wait, girl, you said you wasn't going to cover me up. I'm like, hold on, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little <laughs> Okay. You guys not be playing around, right? <laughs> I like that. That looks a lot better. At least I can actually see her. Okay, so at least I can actually see her. And I brought a whole bag of stuff that I haven't even used yet. But I also want to add some stars in here. So let me go ahead and add these stars and see how this, if this actually helps my teeth at all. See if this actually brings anything, any joy to it. Does it, does it bring joy to it? If it doesn't bring joy to it, then we gotta let it go. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Cause I love experimenting. Let's see, let's put that there. So we're gonna add some of these stars under here and then we're gonna add our final our final little piece i think that this is exactly kind of what i needed to um break maybe some of this this darkness out here maybe like this and you gotta add glue to these things because they will pop off you guys you'll be like oh my god and the next you know you're getting like ninja stars flying all over the place because <laughs> the stickers are just like sh 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 everywhere <laughs> they have like time release <laughs> and they all start falling one after the other. <laughs> Mommy's so stupid. Mommy's so stupid. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, I kind of like this one up a little bit, actually. Not so much in there. I'm going to just start adding some of these all over the place. And true to my fashion, the queen of excess, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I already said that. <laughs> okay? You can't steal my joke and throw it back at me. <laughs> Let's see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Do I want to add another one? I think that's pretty good. I don't think I need one more. I think I'm good with that, right? And maybe inside, behind the right, you know, like that, right? <laughs> he said in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to see. <laughs> Okay, let's see, maybe, right? And I can add the other one behind her. Okay. Right? That's too much. Is that too much? That's too much, I think. <laughs> He's a <psh. laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, you guys. She said no, no to the star. No to one or no to both stars. Just add her in. That should be enough, right? It's stuck. Yeah, I can just add her in. Let me give her a little bit of dimension, you guys. Let me just um slice a couple of these little bits of chip on here. She's gonna be good in the stars. Take all of them. You know I'm hard-headed, right? Mm 
Has that pew 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 like those little birds just <laughs> 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 starts? <laughs> they both fly. What the heck? No, pigeons don't fly, right? No, pigeons, pigeons fly. <laughs> the chickens don't fly. Chickens don't fly. Pigeons fly. Chickens fly like chickens do. Really don't. That's hovering. <laughs> That's not flying. <laughs> That's hovering. Hey, the dog, why would I do that? <laughs> I live in New York. Like, why would I be out here chasing a chicken? <laughs> they literally give it to you in every single way that you could possibly want it. <laughs> I'm saying, though. Okay. I'm just going to anchor her hair real quick. And I think this is about done, you guys. I probably would have used other pieces if I would have done my whole haul because I was kind of originally thinking like I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the whole haul altogether, but I don't want to mix. I didn't want to you know make it too too much with the video, and I still wanted to do some art today. So you said no to the stars. Why well, you don't like my ninja stars? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm just not gonna add no more. Okay. Okay. I love that. So let's see. It's almost 10 o'clock. So in the last minute that I have before I let you guys go. Ta-da! Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, I'm missing my little baggie of bubbles. You seen a little baggie of stringy bubbles? Stringy, stringy, stringy bubbles. Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you stringy see it? bubbles? Yeah, see on that plate oh, right there? Beads. No, they're bubbles in my imagination right now. The they look like bubbles. Some bubbles. Oh, yeah, little pearls. Yeah. And we need some bubbles. 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 Right? Right, you guys? We need some bubbles. Right? We need some bubbles, you guys? Come on. Agree with me here. We need some bubbles. <laughs> Sounds like we need some bubbles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I love that. I love how it kind of wraps around her hair. Right? No, no, no. Unless you caught a pearl and made her like, choo, like a crab. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that. But I do like how this kind of looks like this. So I'm going to just snip a little bit off of this and then glue that in place. I don't want to, you know, overly do it. I just want to add a little something, something. And I kind of overlap that just like that. This glue's still kind of drying. Okay. And kind of just put that in there like so. And just kind of add a little bit of bubbles here and there. Um, mm -mm. That there, that there. Okay, let me put this there before <laughs> I forget. What that? What this? <laughs> pearls in the river. Yeah, these are the magic pearls. Pearls in the pool. <laughs> pearls, the pool doesn't have pearls. You got clams in your pool? <laughs> Who's giving you the pearls? You got clams in your pool, so What the heck? Okay, so in your soup. <laughs> you having some chowder? Manhattan chowder. Manhattan chowder? I never heard of that one. I didn't know I didn't know Manhattan. 
I didn't know my hands is on chowder. Not that I eat seafood, so I wouldn't have heard of it. He's in a Google. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, that glue dries clear, but I will clean it up so that it's not so so all over the place. This is something that I should have done with hot glue, but since I'm gonna let it sit there, I'm just gonna let it be. So I hate fighting with the hot glue. Honestly, I really do. So I'm just gonna let that kind of sit there. And I want the pearls to kind of um look like they're just overflowing, you know, flowing freely somehow. I'm gonna probably glue that one there. I'm gonna glue this one there. Yeah. It's ice cream night. It's ice cream now. I'm a cast of the cart, man. <laughs> all right, you guys. All right, you guys. So here we have it. Tonight's creation is this wooden tag that I got on clearance from Dollar General, you guys. Super awesome way to recreate and give things new purpose. So with today, we decided to go with the seed theme. And I was inspired by little gems that I never got to place down. So let me place those gems down. Or what was the point of today's Facebook picture? Hello, Carmen. <laughs> we got to put these in. Which I'm going to lay them down and glue them down now. By the time that I post this up, all the glue that I'm about to lay all over the place will be dry. So you won't see none of that um, glue that you're going to see now underneath it all. So I'm just going to kind of position these somehow, someplace that kind of makes sense to me. And I'm going to grab one more and kind of put it over here somewhere so that it's got three in the top, three in the bottom. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I'm going to do that right now and glue these on because I don't want to let you guys go without seeing the finished product. That is my goal to finish what I start when it comes to these projects that I'm doing live with you guys. So hope you don't mind. You're going to be seeing a lot of me in the upcoming. We're going to have a whole bunch of fun projects coming on the way. A whole bunch of new things that I'm going to be sharing with you all. So be on the lookout for those. And I think we are done. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, it looks white now. But by the time this all dries, all you're going to see is the pure color behind it. I just need these gems to really stay in place. So we used this beautiful image from Stamperia's paper pad. It's an 8x8 paper pad. I used this beautiful die cut of this mermaid, and I went ahead and colored her um, tail with some copper, some deep blue, as well as a little bit of black, and created this beautiful outlook, the way that it all um, kind of came out. I used some Dollar Tree stickers because they have beautiful texture, and I love the shape of the stars, and, you know, we're dealing with a star here in the center anyways, and I'm going to be covering it up. So I figured we could use a little bit more of the stars. We have some gears. We have some beautiful coral that we decorated with Deco Arts Galaxy Glitters. Amazing, amazing final touch to this piece. I absolutely love it. And I will be sharing the pictures of this once this is all dry. I hope that you guys have had fun and have enjoyed yourself and found yourself inspired. Hopefully you guys can see. I expect to see many, many more projects like this in the upcoming future. And who knows, maybe a few giveaways here and there of some of the finished products. So with that being said, I want to say thank you all so, so very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so much for being here and supporting me. I do greatly appreciate you all. And as always, you guys know what to do. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to subscribe. Mark your calendars, you guys. March the 21st and March the 28th, Tiffany Solario is hosting two amazing hops. I will be part, um, part of the March 28th hop, which is the mixed media hop. So I will have more information on that. Make sure to stay tuned to my community posts, my Instagram, my Facebook, this 
that and everything else <laughs> and i will catch you guys all in the next one have an amazing blessed weekend and uh i'll see you guys up bye Thank you.